Hey there. Have you got an ear? I got a mouth. What is it? Yeah, I spent a lot of time tinkering up and down the river delta. Once Owen's army came to town, I lit out of there faster than a tassel worm with its bottom ablaze. So frazzled, I accidentally left behind a few irreplaceables. What irreplaceables? Well, just one, really. An orb. I'd be mighty grateful if you would find it. What is it? And if you come across any of my old, beautifully rusted armor pieces, I'll use the scrap to whip up something specially suited just for you. What is the orb? Just bring it back here and you'll make me happy as a sunbeam. Oh, and don't forget to keep an eye out for my old armor. I'll fix it up for you. Free charge. Mm. What sort of orb do you imagine we're looking for, brother? I do not know. If I may ask, do you miss all time? You mean, do I miss the light? Do you? The truth? I still feel its pull. You want nothing else when you're near it. And away from it, you're only biding time until you can drink again from the light. But then again, the light does not make good food. It doesn't play music, or tell jokes, or open your eyes to new things. It makes you run in place. The more I am away from it, the more I see it for what it really is. And I don't need it anymore. I appreciate your candor. Is someone going to ask me if I miss the light? Of course. How rude of me. In their defense, love, you are usually not the most... talkative. I will speak. I hope we have a chance to talk further, Mimir. Always nice to meet a fellow scholar. And Kratos, I understand your homeland is famed for philosophers. When things quiet down, I'd love to hear their ideas, and your own. I have nothing to say that will interest you. Nonsense, brother. I've heard many a wise word pass those sunburned lips. <laughs> it's all right, Mimir. My wife is much the same way. Careful. Uh... Quiet, but very deep. Acceptable. Woo! <laughs> she loves me so much. Mimir, I never asked how it felt to lose your head. What would you have me say? That it tickled? Merely curious. If you wish to derive some satisfaction from my pain, I'm afraid you'll be disappointed. Kratos swung swift and true, didn't you, brother? I felt nearly a scratch. Shame. Explore the river now, and hopefully write some old wrongs. Mm. 
What is your unfinished business? I left something behind, near the falls. Your wedding site? Now why do you want to be going back there? To be free of the bonds of my marriage. And to Asgard. I think you severed that a long time ago. Not completely. Not enough. Guide us. My people settled this river many ages ago. Thousands traveled it on pilgrimage to the Shrine of Worship. But then the Aesir came. This is all that's left. Reavers, of course. Song. Stay alert. Ugh! <sighs> 
Another drawbridge. We'll need to lower it. What's it say, brother? hanging from that tree above us. Could be useful. Looks like that worked.
You know, I would have beaten you. What? Earlier. If Atreus hadn't been there. Hmm. Perhaps. We could go again. Find out for certain. I would rather not. I'll bet you wouldn't. Patience is piety. What is wrong? Please, leave me to my prayers. I await Freya, the great healer. I am here. She will cure me. I have been a loyal follower. She would not abandon... <coughs> I am Freya. What do you need? Only she can cure my sickness. With Mangold, Meyer, and Poe. We must help her. She demands a cure. She is dead. She is trapped here, ignorant of her own death. If we bring her what she needs, she'll move on. You are certain? I'm not going to do nothing. She needs Mangold, Meyer, and Palm. We should find some. Did you recognize her, the sickly spirit? No. There was a time I could recall the face of every one of my people, but... Sometimes I wonder if gods live too long. I once felt the same. Good. I need only one more ingredient for the cure. And then what? Then I fix things. That's everything I need. Let's return to the sick spirit. You would cure the dead. I promised I would take care of my people. You do not even remember her. Or she you. And? Let us return to the spirit. <laughs> Have you finally come to heal me? We have collected the plants. Could this be? I feel my vitality returning to me. I feel... Freya. I am here. I knew you would return. Even as the doubters cursed your name. Thank you. But it's time to rest. You have earned it. Thank you, my queen. I am tired indeed. Shall we continue? Yes. Oh, lady, I was curious about some of the flora we've encountered on our travels. And you will remain curious. It's not my job to teach you everything, Ramir. Look, I was just asking. And you have been told. Oh, you can say that again. <clears throat> that orb yet good thing we didn't miss this and how is it you two know each other no i can't be divulger in guild business you gotta respect the secret dude of it all i'm sorry let's just say brock and i have long enjoyed certain common interests that's right like getting us into trouble and getting you 
back out of it again. What? <laughs> That's only mostly true. Okay, so does that answer your question? Close enough, I suppose. So, Brock, if Lunda can step between realms to travel about like you, I presume it must be the guild you know each other from. Maybe. Or maybe I just showed her a few tricks while we were tying one on. Or maybe I showed him. You don't know us, clever pants. Lunda, would you happen to know how your light and dark elf friends came to be involved? You mean Big Fair and Baylor? Well, they were both imprisoned by one side or another, or maybe both. Escaped together, been on the run, and absolutely all over each other ever since. A dark and light elf fleeing their people together. Quite a risk. Being in love's always a risk. That's what makes it fun. <laughs> you could say the same about hot cheese. Linda, what do you know of Birga the Traveler? Not much. I ain't the talking type, really. But from what I can glean, he walked the path of the Traveler for a time, then found out something that made him step off it. Hard. Any idea what he saw? No, I'm not sure, but I think he saw what was at the end of the path. And, uh, didn't care much for it. Finding out Odin was pulling their strings all along probably put a colossal kink in his codpiece. Hiya, Freya. How you doing? I'm fine. On that, madam, we are agreed. What? Oh. Oh, uh... Thank you? Anytime. Ha! <laughs> Lunda, you ain't changed one damn bit. <laughs> Expanded my wares, if you got the raw materials to make them. Anything interesting, brother?
soul cannot rest until they are at rest. Gunhild. What is wrong? I died. And you will help me. Of course, Gunhild. But to what end? When the Einherjar came, we needed a way to fight back. I suggested it. Say them, Major. I understand your desperation, but... that was foolish. Clearly. I was lucky enough to be murdered before my mind could be corrupted, as theirs did. You must free them. Of course. Say their magic corrupts so ruthlessly. Those poor souls must be in agony. Then we shall give them death. souls are still twisted, aren't they? Give them the freedom. Now, how do we get up there, I wonder? We can't. Not with those vines in the way. Doesn't look like we can reach it from down here. Armor piece bearing Lunda's brand. Shame it's broken. Nice bit of work otherwise. Then why leave it? You suspicious of her, brother? If the orb she seeks is important, she would not have left it behind. Ah, perhaps.
Must be safer this way. We'll need to find another way around. Good or what? So, what's it like, being back? Like I haven't come back at all. Everything's changed. I'm a stranger here. I know the feeling. The runic word appeared over there. See it? Mecking. We should be able to reach the wedding site. Now. 
As long as they still haunt this realm, so will I. Astrid's garden. The wilds reclaimed it. And his beautiful ones. System. It's out of balance. Desolation, a fitting fate. Astrid, no. Spirit. Freya, you returned. Astrid, what happened to you? To your garden? The Aenheriar. My life's work rotted. My monument to your glory reduced to this. I am sorry, my queen. You need never apologize to me, old friend. I swore to keep this garden in bloom until you return to live forever amongst its putrescence. A just punishment. I will return, Astrid. Kratos, we purge this garden of poison. Why? 
The Earth is a reflection of those who tend it. So long as the land is plagued, her soul will be as well. We have to destroy the totems. They're poisoning Astrid's garden. When my garden blooms, so will my soul. See that explosive? Setting it off could help. Ah, maybe you can hit it from a different angle. Life returns to the garden. Good. Glad to see that still works. <laughs> Looks like more of Lunda's old armor. Nearly have the complete set now. This mentions a spell that puts trolls to sleep, and a magic relic that acts as a sort of counter spell. Family crest of Henir. Poor man. <laughs> Can you see if there's a way inside while you're up there? Good thing you learned the runes, brother. This garden still aches. There must be more poison somewhere. I await the day when my garden grows again. It's finished. Let's return to Astrid. The land, it's alive again. I can feel it. Yes, your garden grows again. Freya, how did you? It's okay, Astrid. It's time to move on. Thank you, goddess. I do love you. And I you. You've done a great kindness. A temporary one. The garden will die again. All things do. That is no reason not to try.
must say, I think we make a good team. With my brains, Kratos' brawn, and my lady's, uh... Wisdom? Magic? Ability to tolerate you for long periods of time? I was going to say brutality. That works. Inside of that building, can you see anything valuable in there? We can head back and get inside. Oh! 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 